Hello friends, welcome to our channel, English Literature Education. And today, I have with me one of my friends who will be discussing whether there should be a definition of classic literature or classical literature or something as such as classic. So when we talk, this is classic, this is a classic novel, this is a classic poetry, this is a classic collection of poems, or this is a classical non-fictional work in English literature. So we are going to debate or discuss the very premise of that. What is a classic? How do we define classic? And how do we term something as classic? So let me introduce you first to my friend Ravi. He is from Sasara and he is teaching in a plus two higher school there. And Rahul, as you know, he is a school teacher and he has been discussing literature with us on various topics. And his man is, as you know, he has also been discussing literature with us. So I will throw this question open why to anyone and everyone who can start discussing it. So whether do we need to define classic in literature or not? So the floor is open, anyone can start. Yeah, there are certain things which we, from which we can limit the definition of, uh, or we can say classic. But Very good. What I, what I mm -hmm. want to point out here is that some works can be categorized as these are some standard works. Mm -hmm. But these things not should come like uh, these works are classic, these are not classic. So we cannot uh, limit the boundary of literature. So I think Manish is very much trying to limit it to one's personal will. Yes. Whether I want to define something or whether, whether I want to associate with something as classic or not. When How far do you say it? Whenever uh, we define something, we mm -hmm. had some ideas in our mind that we uh, collect that ideas in a definition. Good. But uh, if we talk about mm -hmm. literature, it is a fact and various thing that it cannot be bounded in it's a certain boundary. And we cannot yeah. Bound yeah. So uh, I think you and you also suggest that literature is wide open and when we try to define something, Actually, we are tending towards limiting it, as we had a discussion some days ago. So there we added that if we try to define something, we actually try or tend or move towards limiting it to our ideas. What do yes. you say, Ravi? Yes, I think in the beginning, mm -hmm. no any work is uh, classic in itself. Okay. Actually, uh, it is our imposition over mm -hmm. uh, works that uh, we say generally it is classic. Or uh, classic. I think Ravi is simply the response of readers. Okay. Simply the response of what we want to say, a work is classic or not. We are, mm -hmm. like it's a prejudice to say every work, every novel of uh, Victorian period is a classic novel and modern novels are not worthy enough to be qualified as classic. Uh, still they have the same uh, elements of themes, plots, mm -hmm. but still due to our prejudice we cannot call it a classic. So there are two novel. points as far as uh, I can pick, uh, pick up from the argument made by Manish. So Rahul, I think Manish is trying to uh, qualify here that only time or only a period which was known for the production of novels. I think we are, are we limiting our discussion to novels? I think words by Dr. Johnson. So those are well uh, beyond the definition or well beyond the ramifications yeah, of trying a novel. Put all the things in mm -hmm. one basket, then it can be a messy thing. So I, think, okay. I think okay. we okay. are leaving uh -huh. one of our important thing that what are called classic mm -hmm. is uh, must be discussed as uh, uh, to certainly we are making points that it uh, is not be bounded then okay. uh, we must know what the books are called classics and so then we can unlimit I think there is, yes yeah uh -huh. this, this so we, the, has a point actually let me make one point mm -hmm. yes. this is the dilemma that's why we should limit the uh, definition of uh, what we can classic. say classic classic mm -hmm. Yes, so you can take. Yes, I think uh, uh, when we say about uh, classic mm -hmm. or we uh, give the label of classic, mm -hmm. uh, uh, one thing uh, come to our mind that mm -hmm. is a uh, classic work is a special for its own kind. Okay. A mm -hmm. work becomes classic for its peculiarities mm -hmm. which suit the time, uh, the interest of time. I think uh, uh, it is all about. Uh, after a certain period, none right. of the works are called classic. Means, uh, uh, so no, I think, I, think about, I, I will, I will not around. Simply, simply will, we are uh -huh. separating the ages and we are trying to compare mm -hmm. different ages. So literary age cannot be compared. I think literary age is all about conjecture. So I think Rahul is right in his own validation. Rahul is right. But I will counter you Rahul by saying this that the works of Shakespeare are well beyond the earth times. Like Shakespeare wrote in 16th century and then yeah. in 17th century also, uh, at least the beginning of 17th century. But his works are still uh, qualified as classics. Okay, so this okay. is, uh, Just so are we not tending towards classifying classical literature, all those works which were produced back than our forefathers lived? Okay. So these are time this is, this is, uh, There are many examples mm -hmm. like uh, Virgil, 
so Dante. works Dante mm. works those all are called classics but why even, this is the question even, right? even 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 in 19th century mm-hmm. uh, like uh, work, Charles Dickens uh, Charles Dickens William Thackeray Charles Bartlett those are called classics okay i think most widely read uh, or mostly read books of its time which mm. is more or less inspired uh, inspired from roman or greek uh, kind of literature so i think now is going uh, into the annals of literary history yeah. which was created by literary historians yes. so you were uh, telling uh, us that the works which follow the trends shown by virgil dante or other authors are called classics so you are going by a style yeah just i am discussing classic <laughs> then after uh, we can say that it's it is limited or it is not limited it is a uh, it is the subject of our debate hmm. but knowing <laughs> about the classic is also our subject so i think before knowing about classics we have to know what what are classics, what are classics? Yeah. so for something that is classic for you so not be imposed as classic for me so this mm-hmm. is the point that ravi also yeah. made it's all about the response by the readers readers and uh, as you are pointing out that some books are mostly read or by spreadly yes so but uh, why not polo cole is uh, defined as classic or it can be categorized in classical novels yeah i think he is more or less defined as a contemporary novelist he is not yet uh, defined as classic even the works by chetan bhagat they are mostly read in india so if someone an author who is mostly and widely read in india i think widely accepted as well his works are still not you know even accepted as literature His works are still reaching out to those that people are people are ashamed of reading it <laughs> when they are caught. Yes. So this is this is this is not about readership, Rahul. I think this is yes. not about readership. This is about something else. Something. If it's some, about fall, uh, following the styles, then hmm. we can say it's about traditional. We should not include any modern thing. Then it is just the point I wanted to say hmm. earlier that uh, actually uh, what makes a work a classic it totally depends on the interest of time. other uh, uh, interest of uh, current so generation then we have the interest of time yeah, i think it's very interesting to yes, so we so 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 define that as classic yes uh, for the example as i <laughs> said <laughs> it, it can be classic for those readers who uh, give more interest for such work but uh, then i have a question to be like uh, for those readers for limited readers suppose chetan bhagat is classic then my point is mr ravi yes. suppose someone likes chetan bhagat and someone suppose chetan bhagat is a classic to him or yes, her yes yes so my point is why the hell someone that particular someone who is liking the works by chetan bhagat should bother about defining chetan bhagat as classic or not it should simply be literature no okay. it should simply be Actually, a novel yeah it is so the... i i think i think before you uh, being ravi part of me i think before you start classic is something that is more or less academic yes academic it's not It's not literary. It's academic literary. Who is coming from literary? Academic yes, literary. Yes, actually, actually, any of the work is hmm. dependent upon the writer. Exactly, because the writer creates uh, the work, re- creates the, the work, work, and reader, which is part. Reads the work. Exactly. And uh, sometimes the reader becomes a critic, and uh, many a times uh, reader left as. A readers only become critic when they are academic readers. Yes, Otherwise, yeah. they are just readers. They are just read the book, or they just read the book. Actually, I think uh, the level of classic is a kind of a hype. That uh, exactly that has yes, been very required. I think more or less yes. I agree with this. That has been created by the contractors of the um, uh, what we uh, say critic. Okay. That uh, uh, this book yes, is really important. Yes, I I am totally class. agreeing, uh, mm-hmm. Ravi. I think and I also agree with this point. Critic and uh, readers mm-hmm. and writers as well who wrote those uh, books or works at the time uh, usually makes it to point out as classics. So, so it is it's, it it's a kind of trend which trend we are following. Trend or moth spread popularity that you must read Warren. So I think it's it's about popular it's book, popular 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 culture. Classic. It's about it's popular belief. It's about popular trend. Kind of. Suppose someone starts studying, uh, starts studying English literature in his or her graduation. So that particular someone is told by his professors, by his friends, or by his yes. uh, precursors yes, yes. in the class. Shakespeare is a classic. classic. You can't yes, yes. argue Shakespeare. Yes. You have to agree with Shakespeare. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bacon is a classic. Without you can't argue with Bacon. You have to agree. Yeah. Whatever says, what what a sick Bacon says, you have to agree with that. Yes. Yes. So this is about imposition. Is I think so. Ravi is imposition. right. Classic is a hype. Right. And Ravi says, uh, viewers, Ravi says that classic is all about hype. Hype that is created to venture some novels into the world of literature as classic. Readers also. 
readers also yeah, high and, it, and critics also mm-hmm. love, yeah, all them i even uh, without reading even one task, yes sir, without just reading, i have heard <laughs> i have heard call it a classic yes. it is a great fabulous novel without reading it even yes, one task. even if who I, can read who can read tolstoy's War and Peace. War and Peace. If without <laughs> reading uh, once, more than uh, how many characters? One creates hype. Uh, that uh, this is a classic. It's a classic. <laughs> Hi, it is a book that everyone should uh, read before dying. As Brandy, Brandy Page, it's a classic. You yes. must read it. <laughs> so it's 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 not about the length. It's not about. And the, just one point. Mm-hmm. And when we try to read any contemporary novel, we become critic. We what we said. The pace of the novel is very slow. But so. the War and Peace, especially. The yes. pace is also slow, but we cannot say it because that's a classic. <laughs> yes. Because we fear, yes, we tend, we we tend towards yeah. uh, a psychological fear, psychological warfare. Mm-hmm. Like if I criticize Leo Tolstoy's War and Peace, I'm also I'll be the God of satire. <laughs> Who the hell are you to talk about War and Peace in such a derogatory sense? <laughs> yes. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's not about free will. It's not about free choices. I think classic it's is about, something. As we sense. said, it's hype. And I will even go to the extent to say that classic is something a mythological creature Creator. that is created to haunt us. You have to read this classic. You have to read that classic. So how, how do you take it? How do you see? It? I, I will bring the debate more into the academic, academic, uh, academic place. academic uh, campuses or academic syllabuses why do we need to study classic i understand i understand the urge of the art of weaving a novel that is good so that so can be done by reading one or two or three or four classics why do we need to read tristram santi because that book does not contain anything which can be called contemporary contemporary which can be yes, called beneficial yes. besides the psychological games that tristram santi plays with us And the author Lawrence Sister plays with us. There is nothing in that novel. Do you agree with that? To be uh, called as classic. Yeah. So why do we need to study that? To earn a degree? Yeah. Yes. For academic purpose. Uh, why can't contemporary novels be included into our syllabuses? Language. Yes, it should be included. Uh, contemporary novels should, mm-hmm. uh, should be included in in our classic. As I told uh, in the beginning, or mm-hmm. uh, a book itself uh, for the first time uh, does not become classic. Yes, classic. classic. Mm-hmm. So, but the uh, contemporary novel doesn't possess the quality of uh, language. So does does he have a point? Does he Actually, have a point? I think he has a point. Yeah, yes, uh, we have uh, to discuss. He has a uh, point, mm-hmm. but uh, uh, many of the writers have good. Uh, language skills exactly. yes, right uh, and we are rewarding them jitai yeah jitai and i think recently amitabh bos got yeah. the 11 pishab yeah. so the novels which have to be acknowledged are not read widely <laughs> this is another dilemma that we have to we have to uh, we, we have to confront if someone is reading the novel which doesn't possess any quality that yes. the writers of the past used to have how does it you know how does it gain the popularity how does it gain the momentum to be read widely by masses <coughs> the popularity cannot be the criteria of uh, classifying exactly i agree classic. popularity should not be and must not be the criteria to define something as classic classic then yes. we even don't acknowledge some of our courses work at classics class yeah. yeah and do we need to define something as classic before reading it or before making no. it popular It it cannot be defined uh, before reading anything that it is classic. Even after reading it, even after reading, reading it, I think it should be. It left. it it can be said good, better, or something. Uh, it is, it it have some effect on my psychology. Mm-hmm. Or it is uh, my favorite book. You know, it is all. Mm-hmm. After that, we can sympathize with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you were classic. This is about sympathy. For example, you know, I have studied the much hyped novel in the terms yeah. of probably much hyped novel. To kill a mockingbird. Yes. And was it boring, Ravi? Was it boring, Ravi Rahul? Was it boring? Was it boring, Manish? It was absurdly boring. Boring. Yes. It was hyper political. But this is classic. Why? Because it suits the politic political narrative of certain people. A certain yes, lobby. Certain, certain lobby. So I think uh, we Because, have to get into yeah. the depth of the political debate as well to define something as classic yes. or not. And what's in the Brahma Stoker uh, Dracula? Dracula. So Dracula is all about fantasy. It's a leisure so novel. Classic. It's a leisure yes, novel. Sir. Yeah, it's 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 a gothic classic or it's a vampire classic. Vampire classic. <laughs> it is a innovation. So I think then uh, before we started recording this uh, debate or discussion, Ravi was talking a very fair point. He was telling us that something that associates itself with a genre can be called classic of that genre. Am I right, Ravi? What was your point? What 
what the point was that we were trying to make then. Associate something with a genre, particular genre, like classic in homosexuality, as we were talking, classic in vampire novels, and classic in uh, literary fiction, classic in romantic fiction. Suppose I, I tell, I uh, sometimes I favor classic, defining classic. So suppose I tell Jane Austen's works were classics in the genre of romantic literature. Am I right? Or even then, I'll be uh, I'll be told to be a opinion maker, a favorite opinion no, no, maker. No, if you are limiting a, a novelist in a certain boundary, particular genre, particular genre, then it hmm. can be called a classic because they are not showing any kind of cheap romance that don't have contemporary novel value to show. Uh, actually, I have uh, labeled a, a novel hmm. as classic uh, if uh, it has treated or it has woven a theme of uh, any peculiarities uh, like. Uh, hmm. Uh, dystopian, uh, okay. a classic in dystopian novel. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, so it, it has uh, it has written on the base of uh, uh, dystopian theme. Mm -hmm. So it is it has become classic for dystopian classic. So dystopian Rahul, classic. I think Rahul was also discussing something. Yeah, exactly. Rahul was also trying to discuss something, trying to bring uh, an idea to the floor. That uh, what was that, Rahul? I think uh, this was something uh, associated with uh, associated with. Uh, I am forgetting. Can you please remind me? Rahul mm -hmm. had a point, Rahul had a very good point about before the beginning of this debate uh, about classic, about defining classic. Yeah, you had a point about defining non fictions as classics or not. So you're talking about Thomas uh, Thomas Brown's uh, Thomas, Utopia. Moore. You, Utopia. Thomas Moore's Utopia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Thomas Moore's Utopia can be called a classic in non fiction. So how far do you uh, go with that? Uh, please make your argument. Actually, uh, I was. Uh, mm -hmm. Telling about Moore's mm. utopia, utopia. I, as it impacted on me, I mm. I want a society or mm. I want uh, a place where all the persons are given uh, equal opportunity, mm -hmm. so that the uh, the world. equilibrium in society mm. will help us. Everyone will find a, a, no one will be afraid. Yeah, and so the uh, the society in itself can prosper in a very. Um, Wide way means uh, mm -hmm. no one is afraid, no one is any kind uh, have any kind of hesitation. Okay, then so he can oh, work yes. very so well. So is getting into the content, and you are associating yourself with the idea by Thomas uh, Moore. Thomas Moore. 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 Thomas Moore. So you are you know, uh, you are associating with the ideas of Thomas Moore, and then you feel the idea is good. Yes. You can associate with the idea, and so this Shivali one Tokens is a classic for you. Yeah. So I think associating with an idea, so. Idea or ideology? Ideology. So that is a classic for you in isolation. Yeah, I yeah. You are you are telling that uh, this work is a classic for me. Yeah, universal part, classic for me. Universal classic for you, but you are not the universe. <laughs> so this yeah. is the problem. I'm universe for myself. <laughs> yes. So uh, within your universe, this is a classic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think more or less it's about free choices, free will, individual choices. Individual what do you say? Individual choices. Yes. So anyone can credit a book uh, as so a classic. So let me say you are not individual choices. Okay. So do you think uh, the literary critics are prejudiced? When they are, yeah, uh, yes, 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 of course, they are prejudiced. They are motivated. They, 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 they are motivated by different kinds. Of like we were just, you know, we were just witnessing the book by Rand yes, and yes. Balik and uh, I forgot the name of the author. The theory of literature in that book, the authors clearly mentions that no historian of English uh, literature. So uh, we are talking about English literature absolutely. So no historian of English literature or no critical within the frame of English literature can be termed unbiased. So I think he or uh, the authors have a point. So it's all about our biases. Liking this author, disliking this author. Is consciously or unconsciously. They deliberately. Became, because yes, they deliberately. They, I, sometimes because someone is writing a book. Yeah. So he or she must be deliberate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I think uh, we all agree. Uh, you all will answer after my point. I think we all agree that defining something as classic literature or defining something as classic literature or defining something Classical literature within a certain genre is all about biases, opinions, opinions. and personal choices, personal preferences. Yes. But in the case, the author being famous, widely read, or an influence maker, that personal choice become a compulsion for all of us to call the particular book, the particular author, or the particular set of bodies of work a classic. So, or do you all agree on that? Yeah, I am totally agree on agreeing this yeah. fact. Yes, it is. And uh, since Ravi is first time on our discussion, I will give the last word word to Ravi. 
Yes, uh, it is uh, a personal choice that we uh, label our work as classic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so viewers, this was our. Uh, has anyone else to say something? No. So viewers, this was our discussion on classic literature, whether to define something as classic or not, whether to uh, whether we need to have a genre like a particular classical literature in a broad way or not. So I hope you all like it and you all get something from it. And I invite, in fact, we invite all your opinions in the comment section, whether do we agree on this or not, whether do you have some point else to make and we'll surely make sure that we take some of the very good points made in the comment section in our next debate when we gather. So thank you for watching. Goodbye. Take care.